Welcome back to Breakthrough Fitness Noah. For those of you new to this channel, I'm Adam the Trainer. In today's video, we're going to talk about why you may be hungry all the time. I have some of my clients that come to my studio and they clean up their diet and they start to exercise. They start to tell me, man, I feel hungry all the time. I'm craving things. What can I do about it? What is causing it? And so I hope that this video helps shed some light on this topic. So let's just dive right in. When they first tell me that, the first thing I tell them or ask them, when was the last time they've been to get to their doctor to get a yearly physical or yearly checkup? And what they do is when they do decide to go to the doctor, the doctor takes some blood as you tell them the complaints you may have. And some of them find out they're either pre-diabetic or they are in diabetes. So to make a long story short, Diabetes is when we eat food, starches, or free form sugars and cakes and pies. When we eat those foods, the body breaks it down into a molecule called glucose. Glucose then floats around in your bloodstream and a reaction of the body is to release a hormone called insulin. Insulin helps the body or signals to the body cells to latch onto the glucose so it can be distributed throughout the body where it's needed the most. Now, where this becomes a problem, if you're pre-diabetic or have diabetes, as your glucose levels rise in the blood, in your blood, your body can't hold on to that. It's toxic. So what does the body do? It'll signal itself to take the glucose and urinate. It'll increase your urination to get it out of your body. And so then you're coming from a high level of blood sugar, then your blood sugar drops because your body is excreting the glucose through your urine. That stimulates a hunger response. Because of the low glucose levels, your body that is urinating it off, your mind is telling, your brain is telling your body, we don't have enough glucose, we need to eat more food, and therefore you're hungry, and so your cravings increase, and so you're going to want to eat more food than what you necessarily need. Okay, I hope that makes sense, and I hope I'm painting a clear picture for you. Some symptoms of diabetes can be extreme thirst, sudden weight loss, increasing your heart rate, night sweats, or just sweating, just, just sweating, insomnia. Those are some symptoms of diabetes. Just to name a few, they probably do have more, but I don't want to overload you for the scope of this video. The next reason is you could be not getting enough sleep. I know some of y'all out there work these jobs there, just the hours alone, you're all worked up, you can have families, young or old, all of this stuff going on out here, you're not sleeping well. And because of the lack of sleep, your body's just always running at a high level. So that makes you want to eat more. It's hard for you to get full when you don't get enough sleep. That's why it's so very important to at least get seven to eight hours of sleep a night because that can help your metabolism in a long way because if you don't get enough sleep you're thinking i'm hungry which you may not be hungry you might only need to get some more sleep but if you don't get enough sleep and you're constantly eating trying to satisfy those craving that's where the weight gain gonna start because you're always hungry so eventually you will cave to that hunger sensation the next reason is you have a lot of stress, you're stressed out. When you're in a stressful situation, your body releases a hormone called cortisol. Cortisol increases your hunger levels. So that way, you're always hungry, you're reaching for things to eat and grab because you're, in, you're just stressed out. Sometimes you just need to de-stress, take a step back, relax, meditate, take some deep breaths, in through your nose, out through your mouth, try to get out of whatever stressful situation you're in, and you'll notice over time, maybe you won't be as hungry as you always were. You know, hungry all the time, because that cortisol will also increase your fat storage. So if you ever notice people that are in highly stressful jobs, 24 seven, or they're unhappy in their life, those people have a lot of belly fat because of the cortisol levels increase. Storing fat, which also makes you hungry all the time. So you're eating this food, storing more fat. Eating food, storing fat. Eating food, storing fat. So please, de-stress yourself so we can keep those cortisol levels in check 
at all times. The next reason you may be hungry all the time is just your diet. And when I mean diet, it doesn't necessarily mean this is a bad food, this is a good food. A lot of people don't eat whole grain sources. Foods that are high in whole grain are also high in fiber, also high in protein, also high in slow digesting carbohydrates. And then it needs to be paired with a protein so the meal could be a complete protein-packed meal that will digest slowly, which will help your insulin levels stay consistent and rise slow and fall slow, not this up and down roller coaster effect that you will get from eating a lot of pastries, a lot of processed foods, cookies, pies, cold drinks, sodas. That will make you on this roller coaster with your blood sugar, which will make you hungry, hungrier and hungry yes and you will never feel a full sensation so you can give your body time to digest that food and let those blood sugar levels slowly decline which will help control your appetite so one more time in your diet make sure you're getting good lean proteins a lot of fiber from your vegetables as well as getting that slow digesting carbohydrates from unprocessed whole grain carbohydrates that will help that diet stay in check help your blood sugar stay in check help control those stress levels also it's going to help you sleep better so we can decrease that hunger and that and therefore we can decrease those calories we're eating throughout a 24-hour period keep that weight in check or keep that weight loss going for the long term also some medications make you hungry all the time. I did some research and I did not know antihistamines that is used to treat allergies, sinuses, and colds, it stimulates your hunger hormone, which makes you hungry. Sometimes some people have the doctor prescribe steroids for people, and that has a weight gaining effect. So keep in mind, if you're on prescription drugs, you need to read some of those side effects or discuss with your physician or your pharmacist that you're being hungry all the time, could that be a possible side effect from your prescribed medications? That's very interesting. So please, I'm putting that out there to try to, so y'all can actually know that you may not be doing anything wrong. It could be medication driven. For some of you ladies out there, I'll be like, you might be pregnant. You may not even know it yet. So if you're hungry all the time, you may want to get down out. Like I said, go to your doctor or just take a pregnancy test. For some of you out there, if you know you've been active, that may be a reason why. Let's get, then another thing is some of you out there may have thyroid issues. You know, if you have a hyper, a hypo thyroid gland, and the thyroid is responsible for your hunger controlling it, or you're hungry or you're full, if it's not functioning properly, that'll make you hungry all the time as well. So as you can see for the scope of this video, is many reasons why you could be hungry all the time. Some of them you could solve by improving your diet or your nutrition as I like to call it. Some of it is medical and you can solve with the guidance of your physician as you go to them and tell them, tell them your complaints about you being hungry all the time and they probably will do a full workout and help you find some of these solutions to your problems. Now the next reason is a controversial topic, diet sodas. There's some research out there that say, hey, you know what, I understand you're trying to cut back your calories to lose weight, so why don't you drink some diet sodas? And they say that the sugars that's used to sweeten the diet sodas makes your body feel or start expecting calories. And because it's not getting the calories from the diet soda, it makes your hunger hormone increase and therefore you're reaching for more food, trying to eat more food. But that's a conflicting topic right there because some people, they swear by diet drinks and they say it's really not a bad thing. And some people like you shouldn't have those diet drinks. They're full of artificial sweetness and that can have an effect on your body, an unwanted effect on your body, bringing on certain type of cancers and diseases. So that is up to you. You know, if you drink diet sodas, I'm not saying drinking, you know, stop drinking them. Just keep that in mind that it could be a possible reason 
from those artificial sweetness that's making your body hungry all the time because it's expecting calories and starting a digestive process that is not getting. So please keep that in mind as well. Another reason could be just dehydrated. That's why when you start, I always tell people, look, clean your diet up, but make sure you're getting enough fluids in your diet, as much fresh water as possible. At least be drinking your eight, eight ounce glasses a day. I know that sounds cliche, some people need more, but they shouldn't need less because that's not a lot of water. So please try to drink that water. It helps fill your stomach up and it helps you have fullness because when you're hydrated, your hormone levels is working properly, your digestive system is working properly. And if you're also eating whole grains, high fiber foods as vegetables, and as well as good lean protein, and you're drinking enough fluid to stay hydrated, that should help you get a sense of fullness and not, not only get that sense of fullness, but it will last you throughout a whole 24 hour period. So you will eat less so you won't be hungry all the time because that's just a signal that something is not balanced within your body. And the last reason that I wanna talk about is your exercise. If you went from not exercising at all to exercise it at least two times a week or more, your body is burning up more fuel. So that's why it's so important, I can't stress it enough, that you take some days away from your exercise and do active recovery that is lower intensity or just take a break because your body needs to heal. And so when you exercise, you're releasing all kinds of hormones that is just breaking your body down, breaking your body down, breaking your body down. So what your body says is I need more fuel to recover and do this activity that you want me to do. So you wind up eating more calories. So if you just take a step back, progressively increase your exercise program over time. And what I mean over time, I'm not talking about a couple of days, a couple of weeks. I'm talking about a couple of months to a couple of years. Because if you're doing this properly for a lifestyle that you can maintain, it has to be at a slow, at a slow progression over an extended period of time so you can make a behavior change. So guys, we're at the end of this video. I hope that all of these topics help shed light on why you may be hungry all the time. Please don't panic and think that because you're hungry all the time, something is really wrong. Nothing could be wrong. It could just be some of these simple changes that need to be made that could get you and help you get the results that you want and maintain those results. But I do want to stress this point out there. A lot of you out there need to go to your physician, get your yearly checkup, and be consistent with that. Because we have to have things working on the inside so they can sign to the outside. So one more time, I'm Adam the Trainer. Until next time, keep breaking through.